We did a clean sweep last episode. Let that sink in. We're consistent. We have a competent end board. And this is all without Remus and Lycatus. Now, I feel like we are into the start of where we are actually becoming a very, very solid deck. We're missing a few things, obviously, the aforementioned Remus and Legatus and a few other extra deck pieces and a few main deck tweaks here and there. And I think today's product will answer some of those end pieces so that we can be even that more intimidating. That being said, did you like? And subscribe and comment down below because you know if you're, if you're enjoying the content I like to hear from you guys occasionally also give some good suggestions like me running two spheres in the extra deck got that from the comment section I'm not gonna always listen to your comments this isn't YouTube plays Yu-Gi-Oh but I'm gonna I look through the comments and want to interact so you know suggestions thoughts comments concerns Miscellaneous. Miscellaneous Horus. Anyway, regardless, get all that fun stuff out of the way. And if you would like to help support me even further, the links are down below in the description for Patreon and channel membership. Or if you actually want to feature in a remote duel in this series or just have a place where you want to remote duel, join the Discord server. Let myself or Ahmad know that you can remote duel. You might even be able to duel on Sealed Only Trigunity. Regardless. Let's hop into the product, and it's not just going to be ghosts from the past today. We've opened this set a decent amount so far. We've got more, but instead of just opening ghosts from the past today, because, yeah, we do have other targets we're hunting. I feel like we can, oh my god, open. We can make things happen. And also, this set was extremely cheap because uh, it's just from the gadgets. So, if I count these out correctly. Um, the box of uh, Ghosts from the Past, each is 25-ish. So, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10... 12? So do we want, I mean these are each like two and some change. So like, you could say this, yeah, I'm just gonna throw in one more, why not? Yeah, I'm not gonna. So what we do is we sandwich them, my friends, my viewers. Like so. Whoa. Oh, but this is a weird, yeah, whatever. Haha. -ha. But jokes on you, we're doing it in reverse. Okay. There's literally two cards in this set that we're after. That's a good one. That could potentially be a side deck card. We're not after Morphage Slot. We're after Goliath and Letri. Sub tier Fiendish, Shooting Code Talker, Code Talker, Fire Before Mentioned Dome. Secrets, Supers. Sloth is a good card, not going to lie. You know, technically, it does the same thing as Goliath when summoned, so we technically have a Goliath, but anyway. Uh, Yoko, ooh, Super Poly Target. Subterra Fiendus, Gold Gadget, it's a good card. Brother of the Fire Fist, Peacock. Ooh, ooh, okay. First Ghost from the past, Remus. Legionnaire, Legatus, anything. Gear Town, Mind Mole, Itelli, Time Thief, Chrono Quarter, and Starry Night Arrival. Nothing in that pack. All right, we move. Is it kind of sad that right now Ghost from the Past is giving us better opening right off the back? We're done with this set. Uh, we are done with this monkey card. 
We're done with this set already. So all these packs, oh, wow, that entire box now, we just kind of, we can see what we pull, I guess. Power hole of the moving battery, another Goliath, green gadgets, optimization, useless card. All those summons full cards are kind of bleh. Synchro was good in Duel Links, I think? But it's good in Duel Links, anyway. Arc Brave Dragon's a cool card, but not what we need. Metal Flows Oracle, Pog Blade, Gigantes, oh, a Reed Bear, a Reed Bear, yes, extra deck gets an oomph, main deck gets an oomph, oh my god, the deck is already, that one box, okay, that's already, oh my god, we got a Letry, yes, we got Goliath, we got Letry, oh, Oh my god. Talkback Lancer, Fire Formation, Tensu, Elond. Okay, we got Letcher, we got Goliath, we got a Reed Bear. <sighs> I forgot, yeah, we were also looking for Letcher. Um, I guess, um, no, we, just for trap decks, we want, uh, is it Greed? Yeah, I think it's Greed. Co Talker, Raster Liger, Latency, Gorilla. Engine. So yeah, I guess there's still one more target that we're looking for in the box. Greed would be nice as a side deck option. The Am Amorph Agents. Ugh. Gorilla. Scrap Recycler. That's a good card to hold on to. Tiger King. I will never financially recover from this series. Sign up to observation. Hey, this card was cool. And Duel Links. Uh -huh. Alright, let's back. Give me a Remus. Give me a Legionnaire. Something good. Please, you already gave me a Reed Bear this box, so. Cosmo Dinkan! Time Thief Hack. Ooh, Heretic Sun Dragon Overlord of Heliopolis. Heretic Seal of Banishment. Starry Knight Flamel. Nope. But you know what? I can't complain. This was a good opening. A very good opening. Why? Because. Uh, side deck options. I guess you're an extra. We don't need two. Main deck options. Extra deck. Every portion of the deck will get addressed in this. I am going to now work my magic. Hold up. You thought I forgot that I had an entire win streak from last episode? And I'm not going to reward myself for doing a complete 2-0 sweep of every single opponent? Of course not. Of course I'm going to reward myself. Bonus pack. So, you know, I think a 2-1 win the first time we ever had a winning record, that was worth celebrating, but this time around, having a clean sweep, one of these bad boys to extend our chances of finding our targets. So, let's crack it open. All right, bonus pack time. Huh. Let's see what we got here. Okay. Resonator Call. Salman Great Fowl. Terror of Trishula. Metal Foes Vol Flame. And. Oh! Legatus! Oh, oh, oh! This doesn't matter. These don't matter, but this card does. Oh, yes. Sweet! Okay. Now, with the bonus pack from our last week's success, we can edit this deck. The deck has gone quite a few changes. We've made tweaks to the main deck, to the extra deck, and to the side deck. And I think we, are ta we have taken a very, very huge step into what will eventually be the final build of this deck. We are just missing a few pieces, as you saw. We've thrown in Electri and we've thrown in Goliath, and we've added in that Legatus. That is one very important piece to the Dragoonity puzzle. Having this is a, just an amazing extender. It's essentially a better Garuda in our case. However, Garuda does have its uses in, turn, in tandem with stuff like Tempest, so we do still want to have Garuda run in the main deck, but also having 
A Reed Bear in the extra deck gives us another insane boss monster to end on, and we had to cut a few things out to facilitate the new cards and Cycle Reader in the side deck just to cater a little bit to the meta, but we are looking good. Alright, so match number one, we are going up against Patron Yari. He's bringing the good old trap tricks. We lose the die roll, so we're just going to have to go through a whole bunch of uh, trap holes. Treacherous trap hole hits us first, so we're clear field. Luckily, though, we do have... Yeah, we don't have anything that bottomless also deals with our Legatus, and then there goes our Dragon Ravine. So we are just sitting pretty with a Baby Rock and a Cruise in hand. This is not good. Galley Six Serpent doesn't do anything. Floodgate Trap Hole flips us over. We just scoop up. We're going straight to Gamma 2. We can try to go first, but we open a brick hand. Was not expecting that. Um, yeah, it's and even just getting any semblance of stuff. It doesn't even if I deal with Backer or Flegius can still get basically access all the Trap Hole cards. So yeah, no, this is. Pretty, pretty dire. Um, and drawing all of these bricks is not helping my case in the slightest. And um, sure, it's great that I had the red reboot, but if I don't have anything to capitalize on top of it, yeah, and we're also facing down, of course, the new Husbando Arlecchino, and then an Appaloosa, and then just a whole bunch of stuff that my poor little Garuda can't do. And you know, just drawing a Goliath is just salt in the wound at this point. But it's okay! We're playing War Rocks. Let that sink in. I cannot, my dignity, for my dignity, I cannot lose this duel. If Goat can beat this deck, surely a sealed only Dragoonity deck can, right? <laughs> anyway, um, we are popping off of Zero Interruption. Um, don't open the greatest, but you know, having a Spheres and a, having a Spheres and a Kaiju is a uh, cool and all. Um, Spheres does deal with any his big Ungabunga, and then I call by the grave the new big Ungabunga. Um, yeah, but they can't beat over the Kaiju, so I just turn it to a level 8, make Hope Harbinger, banish my ducks, and make it a Reed Bear. God, this card is so good. A Reed Bear banishes everything, don't have to worry about any graveyard shenanigans, he's just a big fat beat stick that negates. I love it. Going second. I can, I think I can break this board. I like to think I can. Um, and Bart is one way to do it, going into Reaper using my lovely... Torrential was around in GOAT format. It's okay. Because we can just make Romulus and bring back the Arid pair. And there we go, we now even have a Omni, well not an Omni Negate, a Spell Trap Negate, but no, the kaiju still kind of deals with the reed bear, which kind of sucks, but we have lethal, so it doesn't matter! So for those of you who watch the Mokuba League that MP MBT featured on his YouTube channel, this is the rematch between me and Neshi. We faced off in round one, and he um, floored me with Necro Valley Dragoon. Yeah, uh, and I was playing Fossil Musket. That did not end well. So, but it doesn't matter because we became friends even after that horrible dumpster fire that I was tossed into because of that matchup. But it's okay this time. We're playing against his signature deck. This is Crystal Beast Tri Brigade. It's an interesting variant, probably the most competitive variant at the current moment because obviously we all know Tri Brigades are a very, very good and consistent engine. But even through a DD Crow, I'm able to end on an Arid Bear and a Spheres. This is a very good board. I've got a monster negate with a big juiced up monster that's at 4,300 attack and immune to trap effects. And I got a bounce, which can then bring out Goliath, which can stop extra deck plays. And then, you know, there's sometimes when you forget that Spheres starts its own chain when it brings out Goliath. So the Rainbow Neos can still hit the field. So I fired off prematurely. I, this, I basically threw that. Uh, I had that game wrapped up in a beautiful bow, ready to go to game two. 
and I bottled it. I absolutely bottled it. But it's okay. Siding in this time, I'm ready to go. And you know what? This time I know the Tri Brigade matchup decently well enough, not perfectly, but I think I can counteract it. Just you have to be careful of the big scary beat sticks. We open eh, okay. I mean, we the Ash did hurt. Not going to lie, but that hurts worse. Um, and it's only fitting that I get punished. So, yeah, this does not end well, and um, we get clapped 2-0. First, we get punished for a horrible misplay that cost us the game, and then we don't make a crystal wing on the fifth summon like an idiot and that throws us the match but it doesn't matter because Neshi is an awesome duelist be sure to go check out his channel the link is down below in the description and we move hopefully to better things premature heavenly spheres This is what happens when you start, you have to learn the rulings of how new chains start. Chain resolves, Sphere starts a new chain. For whatever reason, my mind completely forgot about that. Anyway, next episode we are going to have to, um... The deck looks good. We just have to... Turn this thing on. We're gonna see you in the next episode.